So you want to install an SFTP server on Windows and came across long PowerShell scripts that only tells you the bare minimum of how to get it running? Or videos that takes 20 minutes long and we just don't have time for that? Today I'm going to be showing you a program that automates the setup of OpenSSH that's extremely light, portable, and feature rich. And that program is called Porta SFTP Server. And I'm going to just show you how easy it is to install. Um, so I just scroll down here and click download now. I've already created an account. So it's downloading to this zip file. I'm going to open this file here and just extract it to my downloads folder. And I'm going to extract it uh, just here. So I'm just going to double click uh, the extracted folder. So I'm going to be double clicking on the executable here. I will then choose open SSH as the key format and just select any random password for that server. I am going to generate. So all this, all these steps usually requires um, a PowerShell uh, command in order to complete. And all I need to do here is click this button. Uh, once this is created, I can remove it or add another one if I so wish. I'm finished now and I'm just going to close it and it's going to be opening up the main menu. So let's go ahead and create um, our first user to connect to this server. I click manage user credentials and these are some of the required fields. So you, you must have a username and an organization. For organization, I'm just select home or your domain. For password, I'm just going to select a simple password for demonstration purposes. Uh, user root directory is also a requirement. Um, it means where's the landing page? Uh, when this person lands, I'm going to be sharing just this shared folder uh, on my desktop. And that's literally it. I click save and the user credentials saved. I can now connect from any remote computer in our network and connect to this SFTP server. And if you don't believe me, let me show you. So I'm going to open up command prompt and do an IP config. Um, this is my uh, local network. IP and I'm going to just connect to uh, this host name or this host name is going to be 0.4.35 ABC123 and there it is I'm connected as Drixel Ray at this SFTP server it doesn't it shouldn't take 20 minutes for you to create an SFTP server anymore this program is so easy to use and that's not all. Um, this is all in plain text and you may think, well, this is very dangerous because it's in some sort of database uh, within this folder. But what you can do is actually manage this database and create a password. And this password actually encrypts that database so that no one can actually get access to it. So let's make this password uh, something. I'm going to encrypt this database. And this actually encrypts the database that's within this folder. And to prove to you, I'm going to be trying to open this database. There's a password that's locked on it. So let's take a look. I'm going to be opening this using uh, DB browser. And I'm going to be typing in my password. As you can see, it's locked. Without this password, without the password, you can't get into it. But even if you get into it, take a look. On the table of users, I'm going to just browse this table. The password is completely encrypted. This is just such a simple way of managing your SFTP server. You could stop the server, you can start it, and that's all there is to it. So rather than following these 20 minute guides on how to create an SFTP server, right? and following these PowerShell scripts, which I love. I love PowerShell. I use PowerShell all the time and I have a folder full of these scripts. Um, or you can follow these guides uh, on how to create OpenSSH. But this program called uh, Porta SFTP Server by AlphaScuddy, I'm just so impressed. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'm going to be linking the website uh, in my description below. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.